hello welcome back to mrs always right channel hello hello and long time no see so i'm just going to put my microphone on in a nice way because sometimes you have to put this something to filter hello so long time no see how is everybody doing hello hello so i've not been doing my scripture sharing my scripture for a long time because somewhere we went to holiday somewhere vacation somewhere and i'm black and glad to be back to my place so so i enjoyed everything and you could have seen all my videos i've posted i know it might be a bit boring i don't have a clue how to do re video recording but I, I tried my best so you could see even though the camera is waving around because when you walk in and video you can <laughs> concentrate and i tried as much as possible to keep my focus on people going around because they might think i'm vid uh, videoing them so i got to be careful so that's why my camera was waving around in different direction because i could not just focus in holiday camp holiday resort where people walking around and they want their own privacy so i'm so happy to be back again so i'll be continuing to post a lot of videos because i got so much videos to download on our holiday most of my videos i've done it with my my cell phone and the other ones from my real camera i'm going to download it as i go so thank you to all my wonderful subscribers and thank you to god almighty first for all this wonderful work he's done in my life and in our life and also i do appreciate everybody who who has subscribed to this channel we are twenty thousand subs subscribers so far which has really made us proud even though we don't have enough views hours are we not making much money from here but that is not my intention to be here my intention is to all share my joy and my happiness and also scripture to everybody so holiday was so good we really have so much fun and we really have a lot of places we visited and also we might also be part of the honors home as well in our holiday because it is quite a good deal for you to go if you can afford to do buy a um, more um, mobile home and also rent it weekly as well that which is good so that is going to be what we're going to do next time when we arrive there because soon we're going to go and do the deal so i'm so happy that it is all going on well because that could be our retirement home as well. We don't know yet. <laughs> oh, so. oh, AP. So it's in a very nice posh area, somewhere in Dorset. And some places there is just big guns are living the millionaires, but I don't think I'm one of them, Sha. But I'm happy that we're going to make a bit of business around there if we are eager to do it so we just want to give it a try so today we're going to talk about never let never let in our life there's a lot of situation that we are facing and we think that we are it's too late for us to learn a lesson or to move on but it's not it's not it's never too late so it's, it's going to be a very interesting topic and it will so that says that for still the visions are wet its appointed time it's if it seems slow wait for it it will surely come it will not delay that is in habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3 so sometimes we want something so badly that we get out of balance we get out of control we are stressed we feel like we are falling behind the start behind it and then we start to panic 
we are not going to be happy unless God bless us. Okay. God bless us all. God does it in our own way. We have to realize that God time is the best because if you don't that is when you will have problems so you got to realize that that God's time is the best okay and also you have to release control of how and when God is going to bring it to pass because if you don't have any control of your emotion or of, of your behavior while you are waiting that is when there will be problem as well so you got to give it time for God to work it out and also God that is we are just going to calm down we don't rush God to do things for you God has a little a different way of doing things for us because he knows what is good for us and he knows what is so good for us because God is always looking for a way to make things easy for us so um, we have to hold tightly to their dreams our dreams and hold loosely to how God is going to do it because if you are trying to take this control of what God wants to do in our life it's not you won't have any good result you got to calm down and realize that God's walking behind the scene so today's scripture talks about how there is a set time for God to favor you and me a set time for God to heal you a set time to turn the problems around and if there's a right time it means that there is that is there is a wrong time if it is hasn't happened yet it wasn't meant yet to be for you instead of fighting where you are why don't you why don't you embrace where you are and say god i know you are ordering my steps and also say i am right where i'm supposed to be and you have to thank god that your set times are coming as well and god is going to be the one that will save and help you in your situation he's not going to accept as accidentally miss your set time so this is how we should always trust in god and rely in him okay and also remember, God will never let you go through anything that he doesn't give you the power to break through. So when God takes you to it, he will take you through it. God look, took Israel to the Red Sea because he knew he would make a way through it. Whatever challenges we are facing right now, God's grace is sufficient for you and for me. And always, always believe in the breakthrough of God. Defeat only comes when you choose to depend on your power to overcome sin and life challenges. God's grace is sufficient to you as well. And also with God, every problem can be solved. Every mountain can be climbed. Every challenge can be faced. And every enemy can be defeated. And every obstacle can be overcome. Whatever God allows you to go through with his power, you can break through. Never be deceived by those who encourage you to look in yourself for the power to break through. Don't believe in that. Look up to Jesus, the altar, the finisher of our faith. Hebrews 12 verse 2 says, There is power in his blood. And have a beautiful Sunday.
bye and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and continue to watch our videos i know my videos doesn't really very strong but i'm just asking you to continue to watch and you can have patience to listen to what i'm talking about i'm just sharing the scripture of god and ways of encouragement and have a wonderful day and let me know how you think about my videos and make comments and subscribe and always always press the notification buttons so that when we post our video you can also have a view and know what i'm doing and thank you god bless you and have a wonderful sunday and bye